So one of the challenges that we find a lot of times in these industrial settings, when you think about the range of things that need to be monitored, customers have hundreds or thousands of pieces of equipment that are really critical for day-to-day -day operations. The current process could be somebody is walking around doing a daily inspection, or it's just currently being missed as a result of other competing priorities. And so when we talk about the risk on site, you're wearing a hard hat, you're wearing earplugs, you're wearing glasses, you're wearing all of this PPE, it's because a human probably shouldn't be there all the time. For some of our customers, they're up against a aging and retiring workforce. For other customers, it just comes down to understanding faults faster. Reducing the cost of equipment maintenance or increasing efficiency and output. So really the focus is to capture data on a much more frequent basis and then move to a much more predictive and prescriptive mindset. My name is Dan Zuba, VP of Sales and Business Development. Yeah, my name is David Malone, and I am the product manager here. Uh, I'm Daniel Bruce, and I'm the chief product officer at Levitas. Our vision for our cognitive inspection platform is to support integrations with fixed cameras, drones, state-of-the-art legged robotics, any type of device that can be used to capture relevant visual or audio data. The way that our platform is built, first of all, is very open. It's open to models that Levitas has already developed to use our clients' models, as well as off-the-shelf models that might be readily available in the market. We have an industrial inspection package that allows us to give models to the client. And so they come as a group and they're able to utilize them for whatever they need. In our current version, we have analog gauge reading, thermal anomaly detection, change detection, and we also have person detection. A common use case for the thermal model would be inspecting pieces of equipment that potentially are gonna overheat. For some customers, they may have so many different pieces of equipment that it just isn't feasible to have people going around and monitoring these things proactively. So we'll typically put an infrared camera on top of Spot and then use Spot to patrol through these facilities, capturing shots basically of each piece of equipment along a route. Our platform will run through analysis over top of the raw imagery data, look for anomalies, look for trends that might be developing over time. So our solution allows us to send text messages, email alerts, or integrate directly into the work management system that these operators use day to day to create a ticket and notify the people that are, that are there on the ground, they can take preventative action right away. Our analog gauge reading model has the ability to find and detect uh, gauges, convert those readings from analog to digital, and then notify the appropriate people if something is too high or too low. So our model actually has two core components. The first is a gauge identification model look at an area and say, I found a gauge here. So that's really important because in some images, gauges may be hidden, they may look different than what you'd expect. The second part to this model is now I'm going to read that gauge. Now there's a complicated process behind the scenes that does that, but for the user, it's literally pointing at a gauge, telling it what gauge that is, and it can read it. When we first talked to customers who were interested in doing gauge reading, we were somewhat skeptical. Why don't you just replace these gauges with digital ones? What we've realized is a lot of customers will have thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of gauges. And so you're talking about projects that can run in the tens or hundreds of millions of dollars to replace these gauges. Leveraging a spot plus our inspection package really helps move the needle pretty quickly in terms of what ROI could look like. We also have a feature called change detection. And change detection is a heavily requested feature out in the field. We could be looking for the absence or presence of a variety of objects or certain types of changes over time through a variety of different pieces of, of data that we are collecting. Typically change in a highly controlled industrial environment is bad. A very common use case for us would be 5S compliance. Tools are kind of marked out and are supposed to be in a particular location. That may be for efficiency, it may be for safety. Change detection is really well suited to understand when something might be out of compliance and notify people immediately of the issue so it can be remedied. So our platform is built to be able to deploy artificial intelligence and robots, provide analysis over that data, boiling it down to insights, and then presenting that back to people. Use AI to cut 99.5% of the work out of the picture and focus your human experts around the places that really require a judgment call and require a high level of subject matter expertise. We also provide our clients with the ability to receive notifications via email or text message. 
as well as in their current environment that they're using, you know, whether it's a Power BI, SAP, whether they use Maximo, AWS cloud environment, and or Azure, our platform is able to be supported by all of them. So we're not like the hammer looking for a nail. We don't have one solution that we think is the right fit for every job. For our cognitive inspection platform, we built our platform completely interoperable with visual data, audio data, and you know that whole world of machine perception.